Hey guys! What's up? Alpha Lion Simba here and welcome to another creature comparison. I hope you guys are ready to go ape because it's time to dive into the lesser apes. We're gonna do the white-handed gibbon, aka the lar gibbon, or Hylobates lar, and the siamang, or Symphalangus syndactylus. So, start brachiating, and let's begin. As always, we start with our similarities. First up, both the white-handed gibbon and the siamang, like all other gibbon species, are classified in the family known as the lesser apes, a different family from the great apes. And, like all other gibbon species, they live mainly in the trees and get around by swinging with their arms in a motion that's known as brachiating. And they eat the same types of foods. In the wild, they eat fruit, leaves, seeds, nuts, and occasionally insects. And they both sing in the early morning and afternoon hours as a way of marking their territory. Here's what a white-handed gibbon's call sounds like. And now for the siamang's call. And again, like many other gibbon species, both the siamang and the white-handed gibbon live in small family groups made mainly of a mated pair and their young, where both parents work together to raise the young. And again, like all other gibbon species, both the white-handed gibbon and the siamang are endangered mainly due to habitat loss and capture for the pet trade. Now then, let's talk about their differences. First up, their ranges. White-handed gibbons are found in the rainforests of Thailand, Burma, the entirety of the Malay Peninsula, and a small portion of Sumatra. Siamangs, on the other hand, live in a portion of the Malay Peninsula and almost all of Sumatra. Also, siamangs have throat sacs to help amplify their calls, a trait that is not found in the white-handed gibbon or any other gibbon species. Lar gibbons are also smaller than siamangs. A fully grown lar gibbon weighs around five and a half kilograms, or 12 pounds, males are slightly larger, and they are about 45 to 50 centimeters, or 18 to 20 inches long. By contrast, a fully grown siamang weighs 10 to 12 kilograms, or 22 to 26 pounds, and they are about 100 centimeters, or 39 inches long. Also, Male lar gibbons are black with white rims around their faces, while females are a whitish brown with white rims around their faces, while male and female siamangs look pretty much the same. Well, that was it. My creature comparison on the white-handed gibbon and the siamang. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave requests in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Now, let's take a look into the safari hat and see what the next creature comparison is going to be, shall we? All right, here we go. Ah, well, for the next one, we're gonna be getting a little prehistoric and it's a request from my good friend, Simon J. Alpha Lion Simba, out.